Curie was born Maria Sklodowska in 1867 in Warsaw. She grew up under a repressive Tsarist regime that aimed to erase traces of Polish culture. Her parents, both Polish teachers, struggled with unstable employment. Tragedy struck early. At age 11, Curie lost her mother to tuberculosis and her oldest sister to typhus. Possessing a fierce determination to learn, Curie worked as a governess and tutor from the age of 17 for six years, while simultaneously pursuing her studies. At age 24, she enrolled at the Sorbonne University in Paris. She could not attend the University of Warsaw, as her brother had. The Russian government prohibited women from attending university anywhere in its empire. In Paris, Curie felt both underprepared and exhilarated. Her thesis focused on radiation, a concept recently discovered in uranium by Henri Becquerel. This led to a fascinating revelation. An ore containing uranium exhibited radioactivity far beyond what could be attributed to its uranium content. This marked the beginning of a thrilling scientific journey for Curie and her husband Pierre. In 1898, they discovered a new element 400 times more radioactive than uranium. This was added to the periodic table as polonium, named after Curie's homeland. But that was just the beginning. Curie then discovered an even more radioactive element, radium, and through this, she made a fundamental discovery. Radioactivity wasn't dependent on the arrangement of atoms on a molecular level. It was something happening inside the atom itself. This contradicted the then prevailing belief that atoms were inert, indivisible, or even solid. For her research in radiation phenomena, Curie became the first woman to receive a Nobel Prize in 1903. Fast forward to 1911, she won another Nobel Prize, this time in chemistry, for the isolation of radium. By then she was world famous and the director of the Curie Laboratory at the newly established Radium Institute. Pierre Curie, her life partner and scientific collaborator, met Curie in 1894, and they married the following year. They had two daughters, Irene and Eve. Tragically, Pierre Curie was killed in a road accident in 1906, leaving Marie a widow. Curie believed scientific research was a public good and championed its utility. She and Pierre had discovered that radium destroyed diseased cells faster than healthy ones, paving the way for radiation therapy for tumors. During World War I, Curie promoted the use of X-rays and developed radiological cars, later known as Petites Curies, to allow battlefield surgeons to X-ray wounded soldiers and operate more accurately. Sadly, the Curies did not fully appreciate the danger of the radioactive materials they handled. They were frequently ill from radiation sickness, and Marie Curie's death from a plastic anemia in 1934, at age 66, was likely caused by radiation exposure. Even today, some of her books and papers are so radioactive that they are stored in lead boxes. Curie's legacy is not just her groundbreaking scientific contributions, but also her resilience and dedication, making her an everlasting beacon in the annals of scientific history. Her life is a testament to the power of curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge.